Hello everyone, this is Ben Ryder from the Academy of Gaming, Film and Animation. And what we're going to be looking at in this series is some of the constraints and how they work, how you can rig them up, and how they can be useful. It's important to remember that these constraints are used to assist you with the animation. They're not essential, um, but they can just help you get uh, your animation to work a bit smoother so it can save you time and make sure the animations are a little bit smoother and line up with each other. Um, so I hope you get something from it, but do keep in mind it takes practice to get good at these. And also things can be a little bit um, complicated. So if you can't quite get it working, do not worry, because this is all just designed to try and make things helpful. The main key that you will need to be able to get any animation out of Maya and into Unreal is all down to the rig and the keyframing of the rig. The Constraints are just there to help. So if you can't quite get it right, don't stress. Just move forward and keyframe it straight ahead uh, instead of using pose to pose with the constraints. But in either case, we'll look forward and uh, start explaining what each of these constraints do uh, in the hopes that it may be able to help you with your animated asset um, to help you take your animated asset to the next level.